for being out there, dude.
Can you danger that though, can't it? Building a team around somebody like Ronaldo. Well, I mean, they just don't ask. Oh, man. I, 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 how many Ronaldos have you seen in your life? You know, I, I say to my boy all the time, enjoy Ronaldo, enjoy Messi, because there's no one coming in behind them. They don't come along every decade, every generation. And I just think they still got so much to offer, and I think they'll prove it this World Cup. I think Ronaldo Santos has looked at the first half you know, for their first game and he's gone, right, Pepe's the one, that's in force, that's from injury. But with Nuno Mendes coming in the left back, and William Cavalio, they needed legs. I think Leal was unlucky not to start, but I think Fernando Santos probably thinks to himself, if he's not going right for him, he can change the game. I think Cavalio coming on in the last game changed it for them. I mean, he has got legs yeah. and he understands that position. Yeah, but he's got a bit of a passing yeah, range. He understands that position. He's a bit of character. Earlier today in Group 8, Ghana and South Korea met at the Education City Stadium, both looking for their first win. Here are the key moments, commentary from Joe Spate. That's his second header. <laughs> oh.
Because I think we can say the most famous goal that you ever scored at a Cruyff turn. So this, when this happens, we'll see the goal in the Euros, Jim. Is this instinctive or are you thinking about it as you bring it it's down? It's instinctive. To, to do that, you know, to have been in that situation on that stage, it was you know, changed my life, obviously. And, and it was a very unique moment for me. Like, for my family, for the team, for the nation. And, yeah, like as Joe said, you watch videos, you know, you know, quote, and you try it in the you know, training pitch. You try and gain some time. You know, give some quotes. You know, good, good way to switch the play, move the ball, keep the ball moving. But, yeah, I think I was uh, clearly... Inspired by the great. But was it instinctive when that happened? Yeah, it was. It was instinctive. Um, you know, it was uh, obviously on the field. But <laughs> 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 you know, that. He did it for the first time in 1994. I remember being taught that by a coach when you were like nine years old. And, and every kid in the country, I think, was aware well, that's one of the first things you learn. And it was revolutionary back then. It showed that football was constantly evolving, things, new things were being created. Because you would have done it a few times, wouldn't you, in the yeah. match? Yeah.
isn't it? Yeah, it's phenomenal, and I think you know that's that's the passion of Wales, and we've seen it over the course of the tournament. You know how, how much it means to the Welsh fans, you know, the, to, to, to the nation, and it's a massive, massive game tomorrow. You know, it's it's all or nothing, and it's uh, it, it's interesting because ultimately, you know, the, the big players need to turn up, and you know if they do, you can say.
so far, but Ronaldo added another record to his burgeoning collection against Ghana to become the first man to score at five World Cups. This is the venue for the World Cup final, the Sale Stadium, over 80,000 capacity. Ronaldo, of course, is still the main man. You really like Jao Felix, didn't you? He got a goal in the end, having a bit of a quiet to start with his goal. Yeah, I think he, he enjoys playing with Portugal as well as he enjoys playing back there. He plays it off the left, trips in. Um, I think the only problem I think with, with the front three in Portugal were really Fernandes and Bernardo thinking about Ronaldo and Jao Felix have got a lot of pace. The pace is on the bench in the AI. Well, if they have got pace, some of the Uruguay juniors has got pace. Yeah, yeah. here we're off. He's a proper athlete here on the channel. He wants to run forward, grab the ball, which um, is good to have one of them in the team, especially if you're another striker who you know, you're your time. You know, because when you go back towards it, if you're running forward as a striker, it's not just the mark that goes with it. Generally, take a covering player as well. So, for the rest of the players in midfield, that uh, frees you up. So, it, I, I think you know, I think it'll be a really good career in English football. Yeah, it's, it's a big game for Uruguay. Uh, I think it's uh, for them. They're, they're going to be approaching against the club up with. They have to get to these points. And actually, you know, Ronaldo, he's always got a point to prove. He's going to be looking to make a statement against their use. This is a second game in Italy. So, yeah, it, as, a, as a nation, Uruguay, they typically always open the fourth. For a small nation, 3.4 million, they do for just years. They really do. And it's easy to say, but they, we do have a feeling for their national team. They have engendered that in a very deliberate yeah. and a very specific way in Uruguay. Yeah, we've seen a lot of that, uh, particularly in South America. But they have this is the passion, the way they play the fans. And we've seen themselves too, that they enjoy themselves, don't they? I think for Uruguay today, it's very crucial set pieces. I think they're so important to play. Like I said earlier, they're a huge side. They, I don't think they'll be able to go back, be able to outplay Portugal, they may be, but put it holding on to the ball and uh, find the little patterns of play and play through. But you're all right, because what they are, aggressive, get, get forward, get, get their main men doing their running around and running on the ball, and what's the middle of the game? They'll be something they'll be a wide up going yeah, 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 yeah,